Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I want to show you a very quick how-to on using a pivot table to analyze some categorical data and produce the joint and marginal probabilities. Okay, the data is in this table, and it's labeled soil preference, and we've got one variable that is named height, and another variable is named soil. And I'm glancing down at it. it. I can see one, two, three. There may be more uh, categories that people fall into on short. And this is a survey, and people categorize themselves as, as short, tall, and whatever else. And their preference for soil. They like mud, sludge, or dirt. And so we want to come up with a, a contingency table. And in that, we want the joint and marginal probabilities. To make the contingency table, all we need to do is just click and select a cell in the data that we're interested in. And then we go to Insert, Tables, Pivot Table, and we're going to take the default, select the table or range, and I want a new worksheet. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to expand this just a little bit. And we're given this intermediate table, and it says we've got three variables there, respondent, which is just the number of the respondent, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, our two variables of, of concern, the two category variables, height and soil. So let's just take one. I'm going to drag height down to the rows area, and I'm going to take soil and put it in the columns. It really doesn't matter unless you've got a specific way you want to show this. Um, and we need to fill in the center part of the table, so I'm just going to grab height and put it into the values. And now we've got a summary of that data on this spreadsheet. It's done all the legwork for us. We know that we've got 300 uh, respondents, and some of them, there's only three heights, middle, short, and tall, and three types of, of soil, dirt, mud, and sludge. And so we've got the basic contingency table there, but it's in term of counts, and we want probabilities. To get our probabilities, just click on a cell. In this case, it's the intersection of dirt and middle. I'm going to right click on it, and we're going to click on show values as, and let's go all the way down to the bottom to more options. And we bring up this dialog box, and we want the show values as tab, which is the way this one came up. And we are going to click on that drop down. And we want the percent of grand total, since that is how we calculate the joint and marginal probabilities. I just click on that, click OK, and voila, we have our contingency table completed. We've got our marginal uh, probabilities for the columns down here in this row. And we've got the marginal probabilities for our rows in this column. Both of those make sense and they add up to 1 or 100% probability. And that's all there is to it.